Shut up and sit down. What's going on guys? I'm back in the shop today. I was changing out some hooks on some baits and I decided I'd make a quick video on when I use a EWG style treble hook versus a normal round bend treble hook. If you're not sure what I'm talking about, um, this is a round bend treble hook and this is an EWG style treble hook. As you can see on an EWG, the, the point, the gap's wider at the bottom and the point points more up towards the shaft where a round bend, it just points straight up, okay? So my general rule of thumb with this is, is anytime I have a bait that the fish are prone to slap at, be it a, you know, a jerk bait, a lot of times if you have a jerk bait, you'll catch them on the side of the face, you might you might foul hook one plumb in the back, the tail. Anytime I have a bait that, that fish are slapping at, I want a round bend hook. And the reason being is those points are out more, so they catch easier. But we all know, I mean, the farther you get the point out away from the shaft, the easier they are to come off. I mean, that's why if you get a hook that's bent, you never leave it bent out. You know, I mean, you always bend it back because fish are easier to come off on those. So... I'm going to use, like I said, I'm going to use a round bend hook on, you know, a jerk bait. I'm going to use it on my, my like, Zara spooks, my walking style baits. Any type of bait that those fish are slapping at. Now, when I want an extra, uh, an extra wide gap hook, you know, such as the Mustad triple get grip, stuff like that, I normally throw them on my, jerk, or, uh, my rattle traps. And I want that to be any type of bait when those fish are going to come out and actually inhale that bait. So, I mean, basically any of my crankbaits, I throw them on my square bills. And just, just any moving bait that those fish are going to inhale. Now, there are some exceptions to that. I mean, if I'm throwing a, you know, throwing a rattle trap and it feels like they're just slapping at it constantly, I'll switch them back to a round bend. I do think you have a better hookup percentage with a round bend. But I feel like once I can get them on a triple grip, I just don't lose that many fish. It's just once they're hooked on there, it really seems like it helps a lot. And one thing I found on my square bills, it just seems like it comes through cover a little better. I guess maybe because those points are pointed in, they don't stick out, they don't hang as much. So that's, that's a good tip. Um, if you're not sure how to change hooks, that's something you definitely need to be doing with your baits. You know, I try to change them out, especially if it's one I use a lot. I mean, you can actually dull one within the day. If you're grinding it down, it's hitting on rocks. And just sometimes when that, that hook, especially this front hook, when it's swinging back and forth as you're reeling it, you'll see your hook wear under the bottom of your crankbait. Let me see if I got one here. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah. So you can see on the bottom of this bait, I don't know if you can see it or not. But right here, that's where that hook constantly swings back and forth, and that'll actually dull the point of that hook. So it's super easy to change. I mean, all you're going to need is some split ring pliers. These are some KVD Mustad. It don't matter. Just get a good pair. And then I use a small pair of needle nose, just regular needle nose, just a small pair. So let's change one out, and I'll just show you how I do it, in case you don't know. I mean, there's going to be a split ring here on the back. I put the hook over on this right side, and you take this, this pointed piece of your split ring pliers, and you're going to put it in between and push down. Okay? So what that does, that opens that split ring up. Now, you're going to feed the hook up into that gap, just like a key green. Okay? And don't slide it on around. Go ahead and grab your new hook and feed it into that open. Okay? So now you got both hooks on there. So then I'm going to grab my split ring pliers. I'm going to hold these two 
and I'm just going to spin spin a split ring around. Okay, and that one's going to come off. Your new one's on. I mean, it's super easy. I mean, I'll change them through the day sometimes when I'm fishing. And then, like I said, if you notice that you're, you're filling that bite, you're cranking that crankbait along, you got triple grips on it, and you, you just keep feeling that slack like a hit, and you're not hooking up, switch them back to a round bend. Like I said, I do think you'll get more hookups with a round bend as far as the slapping goes, but if they're actually eating the bait, I'm going to want a triple grip on there. It just, it just holds them better. So I hope this video helped you out. If it did, leave your comments down below. Tell me what your thoughts are on the round bend versus the EWG. Uh, if you hadn't already, subscribe to the channel. And as always, we'll see you next time.